Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake aka Tag, and today we're back in again with one of the best minor poison decks in the game right now. We quite literally just took the graveyard deck with Ice Wizard, Cannon Cart, and Baby Dragon and put in the minor because minor poison is my favorite archetype in the game and the defensive core of Cannon Cart NATO with Ice Wizard is just so dang good. Check out this deck for 12 win grand challenges or for pushing up high on the ladder, and I'm sure you guys will not be disappointed. Let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. All right, guys, we got a game against Kelvin. We're going to be dropping a good luck here. I'm going to go in for a tombstone as our starting play. And this dude really isn't dropping too much at all, is he? Oh, he's going to go for a log. Okay, I see you, sir. I see you. Definitely go for a baby dragon right hand lane. So he has log. What does that tell me? Not too much. He's not running bar barrel. So he might be running triple spell giant after seeing mini pekka. We'll see. Ah, uh, royal giant. Okay. A little bit of an omega Ufaraz, guys. Don't really like seeing against uh, playing against this, honestly. Gonna get some nice damage with that RG. Could definitely minor with that cannon cart timing it. So then he uh, is really left with not too many answers to that, right? It's just gonna ignore the minor completely. Focus on the immediate of the cannon cart. Ice Wizard in the middle. Kind of want to keep our DPS of our Cannon Cart for the Royal Giant. We'll see though. We're just going to cycle the Ice Wizard to its death. Play a little bit more passive here and then counter push after we kill the Royal Giant. That Miner got so much chip, so I like that. Ice Wizard gets a couple hits too. No, just one. Okay. I'm going to go Barbaro here. So he's going to go set up his push. Does have Mini Pekka. Wow, is he going to allow those Skeletons to get hits? I guess he is. So I could poison that, but I'd rather go in for a unit. That's going to get value over time, and that's a baby dragon. It's going to go kill the minions, and then it's going to also accomplish a lot of damage on top of the, the uh, royal giant, right? So it's definitely the better play. He fireballs, but he's not able to fireball everything. And if he fireballs the cannon cart, well, the cannon cart breaks down, provides us a resource of HP. I'm also going to go Barbarian Barrel right on top of his Ice Wizard to kill a little bit quicker. Aid my Ice Wizard in its endeavors to push ahead. Couple with the Skellies, I think that the uh, Mini Packet doesn't really break through here. So he's gonna log that. Oh, he did a really nice timing. I didn't think he was actually gonna hit that. Well played, sir. I'm gonna go NATO everything backward. I think we do end up killing everything before it gets a hit, so that's beautiful for us, but we'll play a little bit more passive. I'm not gonna go in for a miner here. We're gonna wait. Now I'm gonna go in for a miner after we kill the Ice Wizard. And the Cannon Cart locks! Oh, beautiful. That's tower. So the main thing against Royal Giant is you really want to keep your cannon cart. And you want to keep your main source of DPS. No matter the deck, you always want to keep your highest damage unit for the huge tank deck that they have. Or the huge tank card, right? So that makes sense, right? End up going in for a barb barrel. And I end up missing the uh, mini packer. So I will have to NATO that, unfortunately. But we still walk away with the W. Oh, dude, he thought. He thought he was going to be able to break through because I did miss that. We almost uh, done goofed, but then he chief padded the fireball, so we bounced back. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. This guy's going to end up going for an Ice Spirit. I'm going to end up going for a Tombstone as my starting play. So after we see Ice Spirit, it's probably going to be a fast cycling deck, right? And then he has a Golem. So, <laughs> yeah. Great prediction by me. I completely predicted that Golem, right? I also don't understand why he Golems at the start of the game, too. He doesn't know what I have. Could have rushed off his lane with Royal Hogs or... E barbs or something crazy, and you just wouldn't have had an adequate response, my man. So, Ice Wizard is going to be putting in work. I'm going to try to stagger out my units. Go in for a Baby Dragon here, and I want to go NATO everything together. He's also NATOing everything together, but we're NATOing it as well. And I think our splash damage will overcome your crazy amount of damage, sir. That Lumberjack ends up dying, and we have a Baby Dragon tanking for a sliver of HP. The 1 HP hero of the Cannon Card bolsters right his way through. Gets on top of the tower, and we get a lot of damage on him. Holy crap, guys. So this is where the deck shines. We are actually playing against a deck that we will just utterly demolish. There is no chance in heck of you running a golem deck and getting away with it, sir. I'm sorry to say. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to see. I really wanted to play against someone that is actually going to be running a absurd golem deck. Like, you do not run golem very successfully in this meta, unless it's the uh, Night Witch Flying Machine Skeleton variation. That's the only one that works, in my opinion. So this is really good for us. I'm going to end up dropping Ice Wizard. I also don't understand why you're running Golem when everyone's running Barbot too, right? There's so many reasons not to run it. Anyway, I'm going to go for Baby Dragon in the back. He might go for a Lumberjack or a Golem right in front. He just Golems right in front like a madman. This guy's a certified savage. 
We're definitely going for a poison right on top. I do not need to go in for a barbarian barrel because I noticed I hey I got some splash damage. The witch will just die inside of it, right? It should die inside of it, I think. Now I'm gonna go for the barbarian barrel because hey, the uh, wizard's there, and I want the wizard to get sniped by the FBI agent of the barbarian. Oh, it doesn't. Staying alive. I guess it's all about one HP heroes this game. There are so many one HP heroes. Can we go for a miner? And maybe we can get through. I think the lumberjack gets back. Yeah, it gets bounced back. We go for a poison. Maybe we can get some nice damage with the baby dragon belch. A a couple hits. Very nice. Cannon cart is going to be working away on top of the wizard as well. Definitely have to go for an ice wizard. Can't incur any damage, guys. We're not about that life. Who do you think we are here, sir? We go for a miner. The barbarian is going to be tanking for the miner. He's going to go in for a golem. I'm going to rush off his lane here, guys. We're going to make big plays only. I'm going to go golem off his lane. I'm going to go for the cannon cart, and I don't think he has anything. I think that we just won the game because of that NATO. I mean, we were going to win the game anyway, but we won this game a little bit quicker because of that NATO. Making big plays only here. GG, well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. I'm going to go in for an Ice Wizard. I'm going to go in for a NATO. Pull everything back. He's showing the he's showing the clone. This guy's a certified savage. GG, well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. Savage game. Crazy stuff. All right, we're going to kick off the game with the good luck. We're going to see what's up, and I can go in with the Baby Dragon in the back or a Barbarian Barrel. I'm going to go for a Barbarian Barrel. Because I'm most likely going to get back to a tornado if he goes in for... Uh, I wasn't actually back to NATO, so I could have been screwed by a Goblin Barrel. Thankfully, he didn't have it. Really didn't want to go cycle my only air answer. I also just don't want to wait in an eternity, too, guys. We're not about the waiting life. Obviously, in a competitive match, I would have waited, but, you know, we just make things happen. It's a GC game. I'm going to end up going for a poison here, and the Electro Wizard should end up dying. He's actually going to go in for even more, so I want to end up killing those minions. So we're going to go NATO it back, so then we don't have to deal with it. So he's playing very aggressive, so I think the NATO is the right play. Going to go in for a tombstone. Hopefully the skeleton cajules the bandit to go towards that. And we're making waves. I think he's probably going to go for a zap or something, so I have to go in for the barbarian barrel. Clean up the P.E.K.K.A. Barbarian does get a hit. A couple hits, actually. Can go in for a miner here because the barbarian is going to be tanking for it. Rather utilize a resource than just letting it wither. Alright, so he's going to go for an electro. Is he going to support it with a battle ram? We'll wait and see. And he does. I'm going to have to go for an Ice Wizard after I go in for the Cannon Cart. We have to make sure that the thing dies. Oh my gosh, that was super close. So unfortunately, the Cannon Cart does die. But the Ice Wizard is still alive. It will end up uh, making sure that we are able to kill everything. Oh man, that's a lot of damage he just got on me, guys. This is going to be a precarious position for us to bounce back in. I don't know if we can make it happen. We're going to try our hardest here. Ice Wizard will not even get a single hit here. I have to give him well played because he's played very well so far. He's calculated every single one of his decisions, apparently. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can make anything happen now. He's maybe going to go for a bandit to tank or something. Go for tombstone. Baby dragon should lock on. No, never mind. Okay. He has bandit in cycle, so maybe this miner is a bad play, but we're going to do it anyway. Nice poison value. So we'll take it. I'm going to go barb. Ice Wizard here because he's going to zap it. He didn't. Actually, I have to NATO this back. Get closer to my Ice Wizard, not my tower. <laughs> That's so weird to do that. It was the right play, though. Definitely the right play. The only move. The wave. Tombstone up. Up close and personal, boys. I have to go Cannon Cart here. Can't let that Royal Ghost get on, on top of our tower. He's going to go Poison, so that's a really well-played maneuver. I have to go for a Miner. Maybe we can actually get Baby Dragon Belches. We'll see. I'm going to go for a Poison because I need to play very aggressive. Somehow I need to come back in this situation. It's not looking good for us. It's looking grim. Are we going to be able to defend the Virginity, guys? He goes in for a Poison. So he just needs one more Poison. I'm going to go in for a Miner here. Maybe we can tank. What is he going to do? He's going to Pekka. That miner's going to get a lot of damage, though. I'm going to poison here. He's just going to go in for a zap, so I need to make other things happen. So I need to go in for a barb. Is he actually going to drop something? He does. Well played. If he goes in for a poison zap, he wins. So I need to go in for a miner. Oh my gosh, this is really coming down the wire. I actually have to go for a poison here. I don't know. Guys, this is really coming down the wire. We end up taking it. Holy crap, 43 HP, but we bounced back. I did not think we were going to win that. I thought we were done. I thought we were toast. Holy crap, guys. Let's get some hype in the chat. I'm going to go in for a tombstone as our starting play. This dude goes in for the pigs. 
Gonna go sauce out a good game because he uses the pig emote. It's already over, guys. OP. Gonna nader that to King Tower. So he's gonna have Ice Golem. He's gonna have Miner. So Miner Poison deck with Ice Golem. This is already a great start for us. I like it. Mega Minion as well. All right. This is interesting. I don't know. This is really, really weird. Okay, never mind. So this is not too weird anymore. This is going to be a Balloon Cycle deck with Mega Minion, Zap, Fireball. This makes a lot more sense. I was just mystified for a second because you never really see Mega Minion with Miner. Unless it's going to be Giant. But then you never see Mega... Or then you never see Ice Golem. So this is definitely Balloon, guys. It might be Hunter. Yeah, it's Hunter. Okay. So Balloon Hunter. Hunter dies here. We'll see what he wants to do. Yeah, I'm going to Baby D. I just don't want to eat too much damage from that. Might get one hit. I should have Baby D'd a little bit earlier. It's okay, though. Mega Minion. Well played. Well played, sir. He just doesn't want to get NATO'd right to the tower. That was interesting, actually. He might fireball that, but it's at least on the healthier tower, so it's okay. As expected. I can NATO that to the Ice Wizard if I want to. I do have to. Because the tower is going to be targeting the miner. I just don't want to eat any chip damage for no reason. We're okay here. Just going to vibe a little bit. Could have minored, but it's okay. It's all good, boys. I could have, like, minored and maybe went in for a barb barrel. That's a lot of elixir, though. I didn't have that amount at that point. Saying good luck. What a savage. What a certified savage. He doesn't have guards, so I can go in for a miner and he's not going to catch it. Maybe he goes in for a hunter. We'll see. Hunters, that's, like, generally not the best play. I'm going to baby D here. Ice Wizard OP. Tombstone. That's an interesting maneuver, honestly. I'm just going to nato that so then it dies. Doesn't get any death damage on us. He's going to go in for a Cycle of Guards, so I'm going to go in for the Barb Barrel. I'm going to try to get that Kanakar on the tower. He ends up going for a Hunter. The Hunter die, please. Oh, Kanakar, come on. Give it to Daddy. That Barb Barrel was so juicy. That Barb Barrel was so, so juicy. Dude, I don't need luck when I can predict your guards like that. You did it once, you're going to do it again. I feel you, sir. Also, we have a good matchup, but still. <laughs> um, I'm going to end up going in for a NATO, drawing both the Mega Minion and the Balloon towards that. And then it should end up going towards the other tower. Going for a Cannon Cart. We have the Baby Dragon making waves with the Cannon Cart, so if he wants to go in for guards, then we just Bar Barrel, have the Baby Dragon work on it, and then maybe get another Cannon Cart lock. If we get that lock, we win the game, and we do. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. All about getting those cannon cart lock-ons, and if you get it, you win the game. GG, well played, and peace out. Pleasure playing against you, sir.